got a story for you. Okay. I um I was on the tube this morning with my hands full and the tube braked really sharply so I had to toe hook catch on the rail to stop myself falling Shoot, over. That is such a ninja and move. And it, it inspired me to do this video. So you remember when we did the Dino 101? This video is going to be the continuation of that series. We're going to do like complex dynamic moves or coordination dynamic moves. So the first in the series, toe hook catch. Awesome. So I'm going to show you what happens if I don't use the toe hook to catch. I'll probably fall off. And this is what happens if I do catch the toe. So we could break down the toe hook catch into three segments. There's like the initial phase where you you take lift off, I guess. And there's the transition phase where you're weighting your central leg. And then there's the, the catch stage where you catch the hand and the toe at the same time. So stage one, we'll call it the launch stage. Um, you all have learned a lot of this from the original tutorial, the Dino 101. Go to Boba, Boba Boba channel for that. You you want to be aiming towards the hold you're catching. You want to keep your chest and your body high. Be proud when you dino. Uh, and you also want to sink down on that first hold. So I'll just do a quick demo. So sink down, get your chest high, aim towards the hold. Cool. So right. stage two is the, the hard bit, the transition stage. Um, and this is why it's a complex coordination dyno. You have to be thinking about your hand that's catching, the toe that's catching, you have to think about the strong central foot, you have to think about your chest being close to the wall. In stage two, I'm, pre I'm preparing my body to execute the moves in stage three. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the whole point of this dyno, is you really have to think about the moves before you get to the end, because once at the end you don't have any time to move your body, You've just got to be in position to catch things. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. So the biggest problem with the toe hook catch is knowing how to read the route. A lot of times you'll see you'll see like a big jug and you wonder what that what's that there for? Like, am I going to use it for my hands? Um, and only once you realise it's the, it's there for your toe, will you be able to start trying the move. So assuming that stage you did stage two really well, stage three should be okay. This is going to take a few times for you to to learn, um, but once the hand and the toe are roughly in the right position, you hit the hand and the toe at the same time, and then you tense your core, you make sure that central leg is straight, and you should stay on the wall. The first time you do it, it will feel miraculous. It will feel really good. You really have to try sometimes, you know? You really cool. have to try hard. Show us how it's done. Awesome, buddy. That was great, that was really good fun. So when I head up this direction, I want to try and get as much as of my front part of the shoe behind the hold. Around here is quite good, you can still flex this, you know. If you catch it here, you're likely to slip forward. If you try and catch it like this, you're likely to slip forward. You want to try and get as much as you can underneath there, you know. So, yeah. When I catch the toe hook, I want to make sure that I'm flexing my toes upwards. I'm using this muscle here to flex. Um, try and keep your leg nice and straight and drop your hips into it, really really pull with the toe. So if you've seen the video Block of the Week on the Arch channel, you might have seen that we were climbing this yellow. It's got a toe hook catch in it. So now you've got the basics from that red climb we just did. I'm going to show you how to apply it to this climb. Oh yeah. So just remember to like, subscribe, let us know how you're doing in the comments below. See you next time. <laughs>